just drain out all the oil. Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Yen Speed Shop. So back on the project, V8 Turbo project. If you're new to the channel, have a look in the right corner for you. There's my logo, you can click on it. You see all the other uh, nice videos about this project. So, uh, last video I showed you something about the suspension. Over there, about the suspension setting. Now the last things that I need to do is connect the level valve uh, to the hydraulic lines and then I can test the, the pump. So, uh, so uh, you can see that I have installed the level valve and there's an actuator in between uh, this is also from the last video I think this is the uh, connection down there is connected to the stabilizer bar if it moves it will move this lever up and down and this uh, will go to the other side or in the middle so now because the car is jacked up <coughs> this is like the highest setting so it's say normally it tells you oh there is no, uh, too much oil in it we will drain it so this is the drainage position so the, ho the holes are I put some paper in it but there are like uh, four holes in it um, pressure side return side and two connections for each side so that's how it works so what I want to do before I'm going to test the system is changing the ABS uh, position because this is in the way because I need to have an oil tank here so this needs to be turned like 90 degrees I have a donor car outside I will show you that on there because it will, uh, it's easy to have everything on, on one place because the pump will sit over here and then it's all close together so uh, yeah I will show you the car outside so this is the donor car it's a 93 I think so mine is an 87 so it's a little bit different so you can see the ABS pump is uh, 90 degrees turned so the oil thermostat will be over here somewhere if I put it in another car but you can see all the lines everything is connected and they're all pretty good condition so I will disconnect the whole thing check the numbers if it's the same and I just installed this one or I leave the other one in depends on if all the connections will fit and I just have a connection for the the oil tank can just be on this side originally it was on that side in my car but there's no room for it because of the turbo and that sort of stuff so you don't want it over there so best is to have it over here so we're going to remove all the lines so there's only one this is also the brake line for the other side I will remove it this is the brake sign line that goes back that's already uh, not fully connected so I first will connect it in this position so then I can also line up the extra lines for the hydraulics and then uh, it will be all nice and tidy so let's go I've got the ABS back in place it's all connected with the lines from the other car um, only the brake lines from here uh, I cut the brake lines also the other ones because they are different I will put new brake lines in it also to the back so this is just a mock-up so to see if everything fits uh, got the old tank in place I will replace it with the tank from uh, W210 because the connections are different because this is the return line this is the return line from the valve that will be within the T piece also for the back um, and that's bigger because you have on this engine a return line from the pump is uh, the same return line as from the steering pump so it's a bigger line also the suction line this one uh, it's, it's bigger because it's also for the steering pump so this is just a test setup so I have connected both wheels so this will all be nice and tidy with original clamps all straightened out lines and then it will all be connected so you can see the line is now going to here to the to the spring so it will fill up the complete system I will bleed everything from here if I got oil here I will fill up the spring when it's on the ground so it's in the lowest position then I will connect the line so there's no air in the system or less and on this side it's the same this one goes through the same connection as where the brake line is going it's connected uh, to the spring and then I can pump oil in it bleed it up till here fill up this connection connect it and that's it so I'm just going to install the oil on the old pump from the 2.3 engine I have here 
uh, so suction pressure line and I will just uh, turn it with a just with a drill with a drill I will just turn it so I don't use your the original pump yet but it will work but I have to install a lot more stuff so that's how I'm going to do it so I'm going to bleed the system and then uh, show you how it how it will go on from there and hope I don't have any leaks so just put the fender on it's not tight but uh, I have connected the system everything is bleed out so uh, the air is out as much as possible so I can just turn the pump with the normal drill bit and then it will pump oil in the system just like it should be and I can with this lever on here I can just adjust when it's full or when it's not full so I'm uh, going to show you how this works uh, what I also want to mention is that the, the springs are not in there because they are too strong because I already tried and they're too strong and will keep the car uh, too much up so I have to cut a little bit in the springs but first I have to show you how this works So this is about max maximum level, then the valve in the control valve will overflow back to the tank. So this is the highest level that uh, is possible. And now I can just, because there is now, normally the springs are in, but they are just too strong. So I have to do something with it, but I took them out. Now I can just get the lever to the other side. And we'll just drain out all the oil so that is how it works so that's pretty nice let's see it again So pump is connected, it does not use a lot of oil, there's going less in there than I would expect because I put it on the highest point, filled up the car, the, the shock absorber, or put it on the lowest point, filled up the shock absorber, there's about 100 millimeters, 75 millimeters of oil going into the, into the slot. Also my special made adapters are pretty good, they're not leaking, so working pretty good. Also, because there's no spring in it, there's more tension on the strut, so uh, it's tested also without having any strut helping the car getting uh, up. The thing I'd like to mention is that these nitrogen accumulators, so there's normally 23 bars of nitrogen pressure in it, in a balloon, and then there's going to be oil pressure on the other side. Normally this works like a spring, but these are both uh, there is no nitrogen left in it. That's my. I think that's the case because it's rock hard. When I push the car in the front, it's rock hard. I will show you uh, when I put it on the stand. But if I close these valves, so I you can see I numbered them also on the other side. So this is two and this is one. So when this one is not activated, it's the oil is flowing through channel one. So it's going in here to channel one and then goes to the to there. If I close this, I can lock the shock absorber so it will not drop. If I open them, 
uh, the car drops, of course, if it's in the right position. Uh, if I push the on, a, on the front of the car, it's rock hard. If I close these valves, it feels the same. So these are completely filled with oil now, and there's no nitrogen pressure in the balloon left to give the car a spring effect like it should be. You can see, it's a rock hard, so I think the only thing that is now moving is maybe a little bit of air or something in it, but it's not much. So this is not how it should be. I know it's from the back side, it's much better then. So that is the case at the moment. So for now, this was the last thing I needed to do. Uh, the real big job I wanted to do before the engine can go out of the car again. So that's a very good very good thing I think because um, to get all the lines nice and tidy and get the wiring loom in it nice and tidy get the wheel arches on both sides repaired like I wanted uh, so no damage and everything else um, yeah I can repair everything now engine can go out get the engine nice and tidy build it again uh, hydraulics are tested I know that everything works ABS is in, the, in there, the only thing I need to do is uh, get a different tank in there, that is my plan, and for the rest, yeah. This is a very nice point in the project because uh, I can now make the car like I want it, nice and tidy, everything fits. Um, in there, the battery in there, I can do it when the engine is out, there's no problem at all. So it's all pretty good, so I'm going to think what I need to do, maybe I going to make a small piece of the downpipe when the engine is still in there or I do it afterwards but uh, yeah you will see in the next video what my plan is and uh, yeah that's it so thanks for watching if there are any questions uh, have a look in the right corner for you there's my logo you can click on it also subscribe to the page also have a look on jnspeedshop.com for any questions just ask so see you for the next video bye bye